everybody who is focused on this series likes it and the places are very special. When you go to a Longin Master Show, you know what you expect and you know that uh, you are competing on the best level. It's a big motivation for the rider who has a chance to win a bonus. And um, I'm very proud that I did it. It started really good in, in Los Angeles, even if the rest of the show uh, was not that good. I, I think I was not placed once, or maybe one time I was placed uh, until Sunday afternoon. Mark Kutcher and Van Gogh, this horse really has. And there I was also last to go in the jump off uh, and to win. Uh, against, for example, Kent Farrington was, um, was a great feeling and was very nice. And I didn't expect it at that time at all. Going to stand a chance. It's going to be good and it's going to be very good enough to take it. The man that takes it with Van Gogh, what a season he is having. Paris was not the same, but in the end, uh, my horse was there also in a good form. So there was also nothing really wrong. It just that day, it, um, it, the luck was maybe not on my side, but I also have to say that day would have been really difficult to beat Patrice Delavaux, who had a fantastic jump off. I had one unlucky fault in the first round, which can happen on that level. the last chance in Hong Kong to win something. For sure I was nervous. I'm always nervous, but I think I can handle uh, this kind of nervous and uh, I also needed a little bit to be even more uh, focused and more concentrated than I maybe used to be. Not only me, many, many other people were also thinking about that there is a chance for me to win a bonus. Um, I knew that there is a chance and I also tried to, to focus on that. But I also tried, and this is also what you need in our sport. You have to be focused, but you also need to take it easy and uh, try to be relaxed and smooth as possible. And so I try to be focused, but not to be, how can I say, crumpy. 46-61 to beat. The whole Sunday went really lucky. I was um, quick enough in the first round to be the last to go. Uh, I could see all my colleagues during the jump off, how they perform and uh, going into the jump off as last to, do, to go and know a little bit what to do. And then when everything is working and you ride uh, over the last fence or through the finish line and you know that you won uh, and there's nobody coming behind you, that was a great, great feeling. championship is still something different, but after the good championships I had, uh, this is for sure um, my biggest achievement, and uh, which makes me really proud. Also in Los Angeles, when I, when I came out, there were uh, my friends or my colleagues came to me and, and they were happy with me, and uh, this is also what I like in our sport. It's kind of special relationship because he is, he is a stallion and he knows that he is uh, quite strong. Uh, and sometimes I also have to tell him that he has to listen to me and not uh, look too much after the mares who are in the paddock. <laughs> <laughs> but he is a very nice horse. I don't really think that he, he realized what he did. But uh, I think he enjoyed the, the victory round and he also enjoyed the prize giving. Um, but I think he didn't realize how much money he won. The Longin Masters shows are, are special because normally you don't have uh, horse shows on, in, at these places, so it's especially in Los Angeles uh, and Hong Kong. And I think the organizer did a very, very good job. So of course, I would like to be part of it again in the Longin Masters series uh, next year. As I stay sound and my horses stay sound, for sure I would like to go again to Los Angeles, Paris and Hong Kong.
Engine Masters, we ride the world.